Hi everyone, Nathan here from Mighty Lancer Games and this afternoon I've been painting some horses uh, all with contrast paint so I just thought we'd give you a quick sort of show through what the contrast paints look like seeing as these horses are all very similar sculpts. So to start off with over at this end we've got uh, an apothecary white horse okay so these have all been undercoated with Citadel Grey Seer spray which you can see on the base here. Uh, so this is apothecary white over the top of grey seer, so we can make a, a nice grey horse. Okay, still needs maybe a little bit of a shade on that one. Okay, the next one here is Gore fur, so he's more of a, a chestnut colour. And all of these paints cover really nice, these sculpts are fantastic as well, so show off the... Uh, the ability of the contrast paints really well. So that's Gorg Runter Fur. Next in line, we've got uh, Black Templar. So this is just one coat of Black Templar. Generally, if you do two coats, which is what I was intending on doing on the mane and the, uh, the tail here, you get a lot darker um, finish, a lot heavier coverage. So that was uh, that's the plan. So this is Black Templar. Next we've got the Basilicanum Grey, so this is more like I was really hoping the Apothecary Grey horse would turn out, but obviously it's the, uh, it's the different finishes. So you can see that we've been very careful to miss out the saddle, so this is still in the Grey Seer uh, finish. We just wanted to show you what the, all the different colours come out like over a, a grey undercoat. So that's Basilicanum Grey. Great. This is Agaros Dunes. This is probably a bit too bright, really. So we're gonna uh, dull this down with another ink wash or something over the top of it. But uh, Agaros Dunes over gray makes this kind of real strong, pale color. Might be fine for a fantasy horse, but not for the Napoleonics that we're doing here. This is Dark Oath Flesh. Again, that's possibly a little too light, really, for what I was expecting or hoping for. But uh, you can see this is just one coat over the undercoat and they look really cool. Okay, next up we've got Saigor Brown. So this is a really nice deep brown, probably more akin to what you see the large amount of horses coloration to be. A really, uh, really glossy dark brown sheen to it. So I've painted three or four in this particular color just so we get that kind of finish on the unit. Next up is Wildwood. So again, we've probably painted three or four in this shade, uh, just to give us a bit more standard horse color if there is such a thing. So you can see on its neck and on its thing, you can really see the definition of the sculpt and how that plays to the contrasts properties. That's really good. So that's Wildwood. And then we've got Skeleton Horde. So this is, uh, another lighter tone, a really uh, kind of buff colour almost. So these need maybe an anti-shine varnish or whatever going over the top of them. They are a bit glossy in a couple of cases. Um, but I think that looks pretty cool. Might put the uh, bugler on this horse, just make it stand out a little bit more in the unit. And finally, we've used Fire Slayer Flesh to give us another more chestnut kind of colored horse. So, possibly, I think I might have pressed it with my finger here. That might need another coat over the top of it, but you can uh, you can see where we're going with that. So my my favorites, the, the thing that, the ones that I think cover the best over these are the, uh, the Saigor Brown and the Wildwood. And also, I really think the uh, the black and the grey look pretty special as well. I think they uh, they really look fab. The lighter colours, I just really wanted to see what they look like. But uh, I'm not going to repaint all of them. I might dull a couple of the brighter colours down, but I think they look pretty cool. So, hopefully that's been useful for you. If you're planning on using the Citadel Contrast Colours, to do some horses or animals and uh, get an idea of what it might look like on their fur. Uh, if you like our videos, please press the little thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos soon. Thanks for watching.